Hello friends, I, Mrinalini Rao from VK Patel Memorial School, Pune, will be sharing my experience with you about teaching the topic area and perimeter to students of standard 6. I have realized that an activity based approach helps them clear their concepts really very well. The main objective of my activity is to make students appreciate the fact that various shapes can have same area but different perimeters. To begin with, I ask students to find out the area and perimeter of the bench on which they are sitting. Set squares, cover page of the book, their handkerchief or their handkerchief folded into a triangle, a calendar page, their blackboard, etc. Then you can ask them, how did you find the area? How did you find the perimeter? What are the shapes of those objects whose area and perimeter you have calculated? Then finally ask them, can you give me a general formula to calculate the area and perimeter of these shapes? This refresher activity proves to be an excellent method to revise their previous knowledge about calculating area and perimeter of squares, rectangles and triangles. Once this is done, I challenge them with another interesting activity by using unconventional shapes. For this, ask them to find the total area of these cutouts and also their total perimeter. This should be simple as they are all identical squares. Then ask them to carefully and neatly split one of the squares into two identical triangles. Now all of them have three identical squares and two identical triangles that is a total of five shapes. Ask them to find the total area of these five cutouts and also the total perimeter. Ask them to draw the shapes they have on the graph paper or checked paper and note down the value of total area and total perimeter in two separate columns. Now comes the fun part. Ask every pair to rearrange these five cutouts to create interesting shapes. Caution them that the cutouts should not overlap each other while creating the new shape. Now they will calculate the area and perimeter of their newly created shape. This would be their third recorded observation. When I looked around, I was amazed to see that students had created an array of shapes using their imagination and creativity. I encourage few students to draw their interesting shapes on the blackboard. This triggers the imagination of other students. Next, I ask them to deconstruct their first shape and create a totally new shape. The total area and perimeter of this new shape will be their fourth recorded observation. Now comes the most interesting part of the activity that is discussion over their four recorded observations. They are thrilled to do this. You can find the spark in their eyes as they draw their own conclusions. Let them frame conclusions in their own words. They were excited to discover that no matter what shapes they make, the areas will remain the same and shapes with same areas can have different perimeters. I also found that students continue to create new shapes and record their observations. To boost their enthusiasm, I gave them an assignment. I asked them to split one of the three squares into two identical rectangles and explore more shapes. The various shapes created depict the beautiful integration of art with mathematics. I really enjoyed conducting this activity in the classroom as it was truly satisfying. I wish you all all the best to conduct this amazing activity in your classrooms. Do share with us your experiences and valuable suggestions. The link to the detailed lesson plan of this activity is given in the description box below. Thank you.